Welcome back everyone and good morning. My name is Kersha Wells and I would like to thank my senior pastor, Pastors Lloyd and Norma Hart of Revival Time Assembly for the opportunity to share with you. On Monday we saw that Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 told us that we are to lean and hope confidently in God, acknowledging Him in all that we do with God promising that when we do this wholeheartedly, He will direct and make straight and plain our paths. If we're being honest, we have all read this verse over and over, but yet somehow we still end up going our own way and making every decision ourselves without consulting God first. There is this constant battle between trusting God or trusting ourselves. Growing up, I always heard, believe in yourself and you will be able to do this and that. However, later on I realized that you can't trust yourself to make wise decisions without first believing and trusting God with every detail and decision we have to make. Sometimes we make a choice and we don't get the results we were hoping for and we begin to feel discouraged about it. We worry so much about it that our hairs start falling out. However, nothing takes God by surprise and He will turn it all around for our good and we can be sure of this. Romans 8 verse 28 says, We are assured and know that all things work together and are fitting into a plan for good to and for those who love God and are called according to His design and purpose. It is our decision to learn and come to the realization that we do not place our trust in ourselves or in the plans that we have, but we are to trust God alone as He alone is truly trustworthy. In scripture, we learn that God's word is true. We learn that God is faithful and that God has great and perfect plans for us and gave us a purpose before we were formed in our mother's womb. So we are to trust God, not ourselves, because our understanding is very limited and temporal and tainted by our sinful nature. While God is not limited in any way, God is our omniscient, omnipresent and omnipotent Father. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you tomorrow as we discuss God Knows Best.